Hello, Dean Friend, always back again, and today I'm going to review another film, the Hashtag Kaylee Movie Clubs. Now, Hashtag Kaylee Movie Club always has a theme, this month's theme is Remakes Originals, and so this week we're reviewing the 1990 version of Total Recall, the one featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course. Now, as I said, Arnold Schwarzenegger in this, he plays Douglas Quaid, who, in this universe, is in a, set in a universe in the near future where they can go live in Mars. Where they live on both Earth, Earth and Mars. And there's also a thing in this called Total Recall, funny enough, the name, but it's spelled different. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, this thing basically you can get like a, a vacation, a two week vacation planted in your mind so you have all the memories and all the thoughts and all the that you've been in this vacation but you really haven't, you've just been sitting there, so just been implanted in your mind. And you can have all different ones for so much money. And Douglas Quaid decides, I'll have a superhero one, a super agent one, and I'll go to Mars and stuff, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, it sparks a memory, and he is actually a, or is he, a super agent in Mars. And so he goes away up to Mars, and he gets shot at, and gets fired, and big actions and explosions, and army film, big typical, you know, explosions and and uh, there are also other people in the film it's not just Alan Schwarzenegger running about making silly cheesy one liners which are fantastic <laughs> some of my favourite lines are in this film my favourite one liner from Army is consider this a divorce I'm not going to do an accent because I cannot do an Alan Schwarzenegger accent but he says this to his wife Laurie who is played by Sharon Stoll and he basically just shoots her in the head to protect Mila, Rachel, who is played by Rachel Tincon, Tin, Tarton, Tin, something like that, some weird, she's got a real weird second name. And basically she ha he does this to protect her before she dies because that's when Mila is the new, she's like the love interest to the secret agent side of Douglas Quaid, who is also known as Hilsa. There's also Cohagen, who like, kind of runs Mars. He's like the president of Mars and he kind of just stops giving people air after a while. Let's play by Ronnie Cox. And there's Richter, who is actually Laurie Sarnstow's boyfriend. And he's after Hauser to get revenge because he works for Cohagen and he wants to get revenge for killing Sarnstow. The other person in this film that everybody knows nowadays is Dean Norris. And I'm not just saying that because his first name is Dean. I liked this guy before, everybody knew him from Breaking Bad, you know, yeah, it's the guy, bald guy, Hank, I think his name was from Breaking Bad, didn't really watch much Breaking Bad, but he's the guy with the messed up face. Now, there's another great one line in the film, like, the guy says, oh, you've got funny, you, you're funny showing, do you know, something to Alan Schwarzenegger, and says, oh, you've got an air showing your face around here, and Alan Schwarzenegger says, look who's talking. That's a good thing about this film, though, well, is the makeup in this film is fantastic. It's been so well done. The makeup department in this film, they've just done the whole face. Everybody in Mars are all mutants, and they've done all this makeup on these mutants and made their faces all different. And it's it's amazing, it's fantastic looking. It's the best bit of the film, actually, is this makeup and making the mutants look good. Yeah, so basically, that's the storyline. It's Arnold, it's just Arnold Schwarzenegger being badass. Arnold Schwarzenegger does nothing else. If you're going to watch a film and it's Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, you know for two things. You know two things it's going to be. If Danny Vito's in it, it's going to be a funny comedy. If unless it's nowadays, I'm not counting nowadays, but it buttoned, buttoned when he was in his prime. You know it was either going to be a comedy if it's Danny Vito, or it was going to be a super action if it was just him front face on the cover. It was going to be big explosions and shooting and wooden liners and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So yeah, but I'm saying that. It makes it sound like I don't like this film. I love this film. This is one of my, it's not my favourite uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger film because that has to be Batman and Robin. No, no, don't, don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's Terminator 2, obviously. But this is up there with the favourites. But... <laughs> Yeah, it was remade. It was remade with Colin Farrell. And I remember when the remake came out, well, it was only two years ago, and people were complaining because in this film, Arnold Schwarzenegger's supposed to be this big drill operator. And people are like, oh no, but he's, Colin Farrell's not tough enough to be this, this, this mechanic who can control this. There's a two second scene in the whole film 
where, where Arnold Schwarzenegger is drawing rocks. It's not even an important role. They can never even cut it out of the film and the film that still made perfect sense. But that was a big complaint. That's what I heard but anyway. That was a big complaint I heard about this film about the remake. But yeah, I like the remake. I would give the original a four. I'd also give the remake a four. The remake was pretty good. Different storyline a little bit. I just, the way I watched it, when I first watched the remake, I watched it as a remake and decided, no, no, let's stop watching this as a remake because it's quite clearly not a remake. It's sort of different. But I just watched it as a film and it's a really good film. It's not as good as the original, like the remake. If you compare them as remakes, yeah, the original got a lot more sci-fi to it and more better action and Arnold Schwarzenegger trumps Colin Farrell every time. Even in the worst com in the worst com the villains, Mr. Freeze and Batman and Robin was bet was a better villain than Colin Farrell's Bullseye and Daredevil. No, you can't argue with that, you can't hit me for that one. <laughs> but yeah. That's my review. Sort of review sort of my head's in out of space now, uh, so I've not really, I've just watched it, my, head, my, my mind's in space and I watched it a couple of days ago and I can't really think of anything else to say about this film, it's been a really dodgy review, I'm sorry for that, but yeah, that's my review anyway for Hashtag Hayley Movie Club, remember go check out Mr Hayley Brat, link will be in the description and uh, remember click up the top, put in Hashtag Hayley Movie Club, followed by Total Recall, you'll find everybody else who does reviews for Hashtag Hayley Movie Club and they're all 10 times better than me so go check them out and go check out the Hashtag Hayley Movie Club big video every Tuesday I've been appeared in them quite a lot surprisingly thanks a lot for that Alan for putting my mug in these videos I didn't think anybody would want to hear me talk let alone people who never met me in my life so yeah thanks for watching and I'll be back later on with another review cheers